So this is the, the guts of the machine. So tell me a bit about the construction of this then. It's an eight, eight motor system, an octo crank. Um, it's designed to be incredibly rigid um, and, and relatively light. So the platform here is just over 1.2 tonnes. It's made out of aluminium and it's made of this um, uh, triangular structure to be incredibly rigid and have a high natural frequency so you don't start getting into resonance at lower frequencies where we're actually trying to work. Yeah, so it must be incredibly rigid and incredibly, incredibly stiff. But yeah, as light as can possibly be um, for a, a, a 4 by 4 meter platform, that's actually 3.8 meters. Um, the, the motor's um, a direct drive on there. This the stepper motors in the commanded position at 26 bit accuracy. This is a train um, drive file again. And you can sort of see how, as I explained before, you can see that the, 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 the actuators um, command to a position and the software works out how the motors need to react in order to achieve the accelerations and uh, positions we want. The um, mounted on an inertia block which is isolated from the rest of the building and, and the floor. Uh, a 50 ton block. So it's this hexagonal sort of it is, yeah. surround. You see that it appears a, um, a, 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 a sponge joint between it and that, that covers the entire block all the way around. It's reinforced hardened concrete with 16mm rebar every 150mm in a, in, in a cube, which is incredibly difficult to drill through. Um, in, in order to give us the, that, that, that block to put the forces into and definitely transmit it to the platform and not be twisting and pulling the, the not into the, the ground, cool. yeah. yeah. It's very important to, to get that right from, from day one. So it was, it was a difficult project because you, you, you're working with a building specification and the specifications are still a moving target. So we have to build a building at the same time as designing uh, the platform. So it's a challenging project, you know, there's a lot, a lot of things to, to, to incorporate and, and to go wrong and a lot of people involved in it. And you're still finding things to add to an improvement, so you just added the um, foam, you said, on the inside. Yeah, this, this, the, the, the non-cancelling foam was a, a design change that we did, uh, this fa factory acceptance testing level. You basically took it to a base tube and you would, you would, it would amplify through these tubes. The, the, the noise, so um, they, they would move together like this, and you, you'd amplify the signal. So oh, I see. Frequencies. So, in order to stop that, um, we, we put this noise cancelling and deadening foam in there. Because no, no one had ever built them. <laughs> um, it was the first time it had ever been constructed uh, to the specification. The company that we used to build the platform. It generally designs flight simulator platforms that will hold fuselages of planes on to train craft cabin crew in typhoon conditions in, in Asia. And these things are tremendously large and they have tremendous forces on these linear motors. Um, it's something that can hold a plane fuselage <laughs> and throw it around at those sort of conditions is very big. So they hadn't built a system at this end of the spectrum, the mm. smaller end, yeah. and then the lower frequencies, everything was big displacements, higher end, really big masses. So this is relatively small mass and really low accurate. I can definitely attest to the accuracy because it, it feels just like the real thing. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. And, and that was a really important consideration in the design. We had to make sure that when we hit the end of the stroke and you were doing your return, there's no backlash that like you would have got with hydraulic and pneumatic systems. There's no play in the systems, all these joints and bearings were designed specifically for this application. Um, and it's, it, it's intention all the time with these flex plates here. Brilliant. Well, I'd, I'd love to stay here all day, but <laughs> we've got some people coming that want to actually use it for yeah, real yeah, work, right. so yeah, uh, yeah. we should... Uh, yeah. Make ourselves scarce. So thanks very much. It's all right.